All right, Coach. Well, I I was hosting the day after, and we we talked a little bit on the radio about it. And you've had a couple of days since uh, you know since the season's ended, and you know how are your girls doing? How are you doing? And you know the season uh, now being over. Well, I mean, uh, it is what it is. You know, uh, we played great softball all year long. Put up a great regular season record. Uh, had uh, three really good weeks of postseason play, and then we get to. Uh, Get to Denver for the national championship, and, and probably didn't play our best softball. You know, we played a played a solid first game, and uh, Kylie threw a really good game in the opener. And then uh, game two uh, against Humboldt, we missed a number of offensive opportunities, stranded 16 runners. Uh, still had a chance to win, but tough to overcome that on, on, on that stage. And then the last game, we had four errors in the first three innings. Ended up with five on the game, and again, created a hole for ourselves that we just couldn't dig out of. But uh, all in all, I mean, you got to be proud of what uh, we accomplished, especially with uh, three freshmen and, and two sophomores in the starting lineup and our number one pitcher being a sophomore. And Kylie just had a great year for us. So uh, uh, it's tough. Obviously didn't, didn't do what we wanted to do when we got there, but uh, finishing in the top five in the country is always uh, something you have to be proud of. Talk about your departing seniors. Obviously, Lacey, one of the Best players in the country, is le and yeah. Brittany, kind of the heart and soul of the team, seemed like for four years as well, yeah. and uh, the other seniors as well. Yeah, you know, Lacey and Brittany did the post-game uh, presser with me after the last game, and I thought they did a great job. And uh, you talk about two girls that, that that leave the program as the winningest players in the in the history of Lady Buff softball. You know, Lacey was a uh, a top 25 and top 10 candidate for National Player of the Year and two-time All-American. Uh, obviously left her mark uh, uh, in those areas uh, and Brittany you know doing what she did you know winning the national championship with a swing of the bat in 14 and you know this year being called on to really be a senior having to move to shortstop into the leadoff spot and did a great job in those roles and, and just two outstanding young ladies but we can't forget Tori Beyer you know sets a Lone Star Conference saves record leads the nation this year in saves and just had a had, had a great senior campaign but a great career for us also and uh, you know, a couple of really talented JC transfers, Stacy Ramirez and Andrea Sitter, uh, both had great careers. And you know, it's too bad Stacy got hurt, didn't get a chance to play on the, the national stage last week. But Andrea really stepped up, did some great things for us down the stretch and through the postseason. So couldn't be prouder of those five. It's going to be tough to replace them. With that being said, you you do have a young team. You started three in the lineup. You talked about Kylie only being a sophomore. How much? Uh, do you all have to look forward to it, and does experience help them in the long run? Well, I, you know, I think it's it's invaluable that any time uh, the number of freshmen that started for us get a chance to play in a national championship uh, environment, and you know, Kylie is a sophomore in the circle, being our number one, and and threw some great games for us. Uh, and uh, then you, you've got Ashley Harden out in center field that's a, a sophomore, and and really came into her own this year as a, as a as a. Uh, top level uh, All-American type player and, and Allie Smith coming back off of a knee uh, injury had a great uh, sophomore year also and uh, received All-American status again so couldn't be happier to have those kids coming back you know we've got other quality uh, returners that got good time Shea Ibram was the newcomer of the year in the Lone Star Conference and, and, and uh, did a lot on a, on a big stage uh, through the postseason so we're excited you know, to see where it takes us. You know, we've got a great class of uh, newcomers coming in. So uh, an opportunity to reflect and, and recover right now. But, uh, you know, mid-summer, we start making plans for next year. Can you talk a little bit about the newcomers coming in? Um, you know, we, we've got some very talented kids uh, getting ready to come and be uh, Lady Buffs. Uh, you know, Shanna McBroom uh, was just named a district MVP out of Saxe. You know, she could play shortstop for us, she could catch for us, she might even be an outfielder, but just a very talented top of the lineup type of player. Uh, Hunter Irvin uh, from uh, Weimar still playing deep into the postseason and a big strong catcher that I think will, will have a great career for us. You know, Alex Cordell here at Canyon High is still going deep in the postseason and a chance to get to Austin this week. Uh, Cristiano Lucero had a great career at Randall. Um, you know, Maddie Myers is a second baseman coming from Lone Star that I think will compete for a job. So just a, a very talented list up and down. And in the circle, you know, uh, Alex Ranieri just uh, won a state championship for her high school team down in Tucson. So we're excited. I think we've, 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 we've went out and, and recruited a very strong 
uh, group to come in. It's just a matter of them uh, learning how we do things and, and getting ready to play at a very high level.